Oh, there you are. Good Sunday morning to you. Today is what? February the 7th. You know, I was getting ready and I had the candles lighted and I was about to pray, uh, but I heard you and I thought, I won't pray right now, but I, I was about to pray like this. You saw that? You know, sometimes, sometimes I pray that way. Sometimes I pray on my knees. Uh, do you ever pray on your knees? Uh, I wonder why some Christians will pray on their knees. Maybe praying on our knees helps us to remember and helps us to learn to be humble before God. You know, other times when I pray, uh, I will bow my head and close my eyes like this. I wonder what that's telling me. What do you think? There are other times in my personal prayer life, whenever it's just Randy, whenever I will open my eyes and I'll look up like this. And usually whenever I look up like this, I open my hands up like that. Wonder what that's telling me. Maybe, maybe if I'm on my knees when I'm praying, that helps me to be humble before God. Maybe if I bow my head and close my eyes and oftentimes hold my hands together, maybe that's a way of knowing that I stand before a holy God, that I cannot even look upon him and how much I depend upon him. And then maybe if I have times when I pray, when I'm lifting my face, and holding open my hands, maybe that's a way of loving God and of wanting to receive whatever it is that God might want to give me. When I think about it, my body helps me to pray. Yeah. My body helps me to pray. And Christians have prayed sitting down, of course, in a chair, uh, Christians have prayed standing up like I am right now. But Christians have always prayed also on their knees. And Christians have prayed also many times with their heads down, with their eyes closed, holding their hands. And many Christians have prayed sometimes with their face lifted up to the sky, to the ceiling, with their eyes open and their hands open for whatever God in his love wants to give us to receive. Our body helps us to pray. Isn't that something? How do you pray? Do you pray sometimes on your knees, maybe beside your bed at night? Do you pray lying in the bed? You can pray lying down. Yeah, you can. You don't have to do any of this. Uh, do you pray with your eyes open sometimes, with your eyes shut? If you fold your hands like this, what are you saying? If you hold open your hands. I would like to encourage you to be sure and pray in different ways with your hands and your face, on your knees, standing and sitting. I'd like to encourage you to do that. Because what you do with your body helps you to pray according to to what is important in that moment. And so there may be times whenever you just want to thank God and you hold your face up. There may be times whenever you know that maybe you haven't pleased God and you close your hands and hold your face down. There may be times when you're just so thankful to God you stand up and other times when you just want to be near God and you get on your knees. All of that is good. Now, of course, none of that is really in your lesson today. But part of what is in your lesson today is that Lord's Prayer that Jesus teaches us. And I'd like to add one more word about it. If you've ever noticed, and probably no grown-ups in the church have noticed either much, when I lead in the Lord's Prayer for Roots or for Sunday morning videos or for Sunday morning big church, I usually say something like, G we pray in the name of Jesus who still is teaching us to pray the Lord's Prayer. 
even right now, in a moment, whenever we pray the Lord's Prayer, we pray that Jesus is helping us to pray that prayer with our heart, whether our hands are open, whether our hands are closed, whether our face is down, up, whether we're kneeling, standing, sitting, we are asking Jesus by his spirit to help us to pray his prayer. And he helps us even now. Apart from him, we can't really pray it. No, he helps us now. So ask your parents how they pray. Do they pray with their hands closed, open, face up, face down? Talk about that with your family. And today for church, uh, not for church, today for Sunday dinner, pray the Lord's Prayer together. Would you do that before you eat your meal? Let's pray together. We thank you, O God, for the great gift of prayer. And for Jesus who teaches us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I'll see you next week.